Hey everyone, today I want to share with you a passage from War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. The passage goes, When an apple ripens and falls, what makes it fall? Is it that it is attracted to the ground? Is it that the stem withers? Is it that the sun has dried it up? That it has grown heavier? That the wind shakes it? That the boy standing underneath it wants to eat it? What makes the apple fall from the tree? Now, as you might have all realized, not a single factor is the only cause that completely explains why an apple fell from the tree. Similarly, in almost everyday life event, there are always thousands of incidents at play for any event to materialize. For instance, the problem you are having right now, the fight you had with your friend, or the failure in your last venture. There were always thousands of reasons or thousands of causes for every one of those events. And within those reasons, there will be even more reasons and even more reasons behind them and so on. But we often forget that, don't we? I have a second question for you. Who is right in this debate? The debate is between the botanist and the child on why the apple fell. On the one hand, the botanist says that the apple fell because the cellular tissue degenerates. On the other hand, the child says the apple fell because he was standing underneath the apple tree and he wanted to eat it and prayed for it, so that's why it fell. So who do you think is correct here? I want to end this video going back to our previous thought experiment of the chained elephant. If you haven't watched the video, then you'll find the link in the description box down below or you can click right here. Uh, there are thousands of reasons at play on why the elephant didn't try to break away from its shackle. But what are those thousands of reasons? So one of the ways to find out those reasons is for you to share your unique take on the experiment. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer as it's not the fact we're talking about. So that's all for today. Thank you for staying with me till the end. See you in the next one.